What's up? This is IQ Wrestler, aka the pan crazed pimp slap of the MMA community. Uh, it was suggested on the Team Takeover forums by a big boss man that some of the vloggers should make uh, a video with some match recommendations that some casual fans or fans who only watch the UFC uh, might not have seen. I've gone ahead and done that, I've picked five. Uh, if you're a hardcore fan, odds are you've seen all of these. But, um, you know, the ones I've picked are pretty easy to find with a simple YouTube or Google search. I'm going to try and run them down and why I've picked them as recommendations without spoiling too much of the fight. Um, you know, so I hope you's, that you guys check these out. And uh, let me know what you thought of them. The first fight I picked was Ken Shamrock versus Matt Hume from Pan Cray's Road to the Championship 2 from July 6, 1994. Uh, I'm a huge fan of both Pan Cray's and Ken Shamrock. Ken Shamrock is what got me into MMA, um, you know, and Pan Cray's is one of my very favourite organisations ever. And uh, you know, this was a pretty early fight in Pancrase history. Um, Ken Shamrock was already established as one of their head guys. Um, he defeated legend Masakatsu Funaki in the very first Pancrase show. Uh, he wasn't expected to win that fight, but he did. And obviously we're going to do great things in the UFC and such. Um, most casual fans might not know of Matt Hume, but uh, he's a pretty famous trainer out of AMC Pancration, and he was a very good fighter in his day too. Um, this match I didn't pick because it's the most competitive back and forth match of all time, although there is some amazing uh, grappling exchanges of catch wrestling. I picked it because the end is unbelievable. It is one of the best endings to a fight I've ever seen. Um, Ken Shamrock in his day was an absolute monster and just a machine. Uh, I hope you check this out and uh, you know remind you of how great Ken Shamrock once was. Uh, the next fight I picked is Marilla Ninja Hua vs Mario Sperry from Pride 20 Armed and Ready April 28, 2002 This is the only Pride fight I've picked um, and I picked it because it is easily the most overlooked classic of all time I, This fight is just unbelievable Now this fight was I believe very close to the start of the shooter box Brazilian top team rivalry yeah, that of course is legendary now um, you know this it, both guys just unbelievable unbelievable took shots gave shots exchanged grappling uh, you know I'd call it one of the best fights in pro history easily easily um, you know, it was gut check for both guys and they passed. Uh, I really hope you, if you check out one fight on this whole uh, vlog, I really hope you check this one out. It's one of my favourite fights ever. Uh, next up is Joachim Hellboy Hansen versus Carl Uno from K1 Heroes 1, March 26, 2005. Uh, Carl Uno was the very first lightweight fighter uh, that I was ever that I ever liked. Uh, the guy has heart for days and days, and Hellboy is a um, is a little beast. Um, this fight really really stole the show uh, on the very first K1 Heroes, and I would say top five lightweight fight ever. Uh, you know, you probably might disagree with me, but uh, it's just unbelievable. And the ending is 
spectacular. Just spectacular. Um, you know, this fight really, really, really was impossible to talk on the first uh, Cameron Hill show. Uh, now I've got Mineral Man vs Kiyoshi Tamura from Deep Sixth Impact, September 7th, 2002. Obviously everyone knows who Mineral Man is, and you probably know who Kiyoshi Tamura is, uh, you know, catch a legend. Uh, Sakuraba Nemesis uh, and Great Fighter. Uh, this fight uh, was one one of the best um, grappling matches I may have ever seen. Uh, it's it's really incredible. Um, some of the scrambles and submission trading, yeah, you know, it's really really great stuff. And uh, it's a lesson I think to everyone about how exciting a grappling, well it really was a grappling match, how, how exciting grappling can be in MMA, you know, it's not just a wrestler taking you down, pit a pat punches, praying that the it stood up, it's not that, that's not grappling, that's stalling, there's a difference. And uh, if, if you watch this fight, you will really know what that difference is. Uh, and the last fight I picked was El Guapo, Bas Rutten versus a, one of my absolute favourite fighters ever, uh, a real hero, Masakatsu Funaki. This is their second fight from Pancrase 1996 anniversary show, September 7th, 1996. Uh, Funaki smoked Bas Rutten in their first fight. Uh, Bus was still really new to mixed martial arts, NHB at the time. Um, and, you know, a great striker, the best striker by far in Pancrase or Japan for that matter uh, at the time. Uh, Funaki, a legend, come from pro wrestling, UWF, UWFI. Uh, Fujiwaragumi, all that good stuff. Um, you know, he was really top three stars along with uh, Ken Shamok, uh, Minoru Suzuki. And um, this was a couple of years after the first fight. And we would see how far Bas Rutten has come in this fight. I believe uh, if you Google this, you can find it with Bas Rutten doing the commentary, which is awesome. Uh, he does an excellent job there. And, um, you know, there's there's some really good backstory into this fight. Uh, of course, uh, Vinaki submitting Bas in the first fight, and then later becoming uh, one of his uh, teachers, teaching him the ground game, which Bas would eventually become very, very, very good at. And uh, this was a real test, and I don't want to spoil it, but uh, Funaki shows amazing, amazing heart in this fight. And if you've never seen Funaki fight before, you should watch this fight. And uh, you will be a fan of his, I guarantee you. Uh, you know, that's it. That's, that's the five fights I picked. I hope you check some of these out and let me know what you thought. Uh, now, I didn't want to go... A, you know, ridiculously obscure with my picks. I wanted to pick some fights that you could actually find and see. Um, you know, all these fights are awesome and well worth your time watching. So, uh, until next time, peace out.